the Red Planet. Would it be a possible new home for mankind? As early as the 17th century, people assumed that there was extraterrestrial life on Mars. The disappointment was great when in the 1970s the first space probes drew the picture of a dust-dry and cold desert planet. Yet Mars continues to hold us under its spell. Although it could be reached within three to four years if it were in a favorable constellation, there has not yet been a manned flight. Since multi-billionaires like Elon Musk turned to space, the possibility of a trip to Mars has seemed to become more real. All over the world, specialists, researchers, and adventurers are currently working on plans to colonize and explore Mars. If you like our videos, please support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. The Ideas of the Visionaries If you look at the horror forecasts of climate experts, things could soon get tight for us. Ever faster melting poles are causing water levels worldwide to rise. If we believe the scenarios, entire island archipelagos could soon disappear into the water masses. Even on the larger continents, space would become scarcer at some point. In a few thousand years, the planet could have transformed into a water world with little land mass. Others see the Earth threatened by coming asteroid impacts, pandemics, and other doomsday scenarios. Visionaries like Elon Musk want to install a kind of humanity backup in space by colonizing Mars. But not only the boss of the high-tech companies Tesla and SpaceX is attracted to Mars. Several other companies are currently working on colonization projects. In Switzerland, the Mars Garden is being built to simulate the living conditions on the surface of Mars. NASA is testing Mars life on a 2,500-meter-high mountain in Hawaii. Even the ruler of the dazzling Emirate of Dubai has entered into space technology. His Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center also wants to build a settlement on Mars. What challenges must be overcome? Mars is the planet in the solar system that is most similar to Earth. Nevertheless, it is not exactly life-friendly for us. The surface of Mars is as dry as dust. Water has only been found frozen and hidden under the thick polar caps. The surface temperatures can vary between negative 140 degrees Celsius at the poles and plus 20 degrees Celsius on a beautiful summer day. By and large, the climate on Mars is much colder than on Earth. One day is about as long as an Earth day. The year, however, is twice as long as ours. Mars has four seasons, each lasting half as on Earth. Since Mars has almost no atmosphere, it is exposed to much more cosmic radiation. The air pressure is lower and gravity is completely different. Nobody yet knows how this would affect the human organism in the long term. The surface of Mars is largely covered by rocks and regolith. This Mars Earth is not only not fertile for organic life, but is even slightly toxic. The famous Mars storms can be another problem. They often sweep over the planet with more than 400 kilometers per hour and whirl huge masses of sand and dust around. Now you might ask yourself, what on Earth do people want on Mars? Wouldn't it be better to put all this money and effort into saving the Earth? Write us your opinion on this later in the comments. In the eyes of the visionaries, the possibilities and similarities outweigh the risks. In the long run, a better exploration of Mars could probably create an atmosphere and Earth-like conditions. But more about that later. Practical Plans for the Colonization of Mars in order to colonize Mars, many things must be clarified and researched in advance. The pioneers need practicable solutions for safe housing, transportation on the planet, energy supply, drinking water, and food. Another issue is the social structures of the settlements. Who gets to go to Mars? Who should go to Mars? 
Should only scientists have the opportunity, or should normal people be allowed to apply as Mars settlers as well? Who would run the colonies? And would they then be under the government of Earth? The Social Settlement Structure Sociologists, physicians, and psychologists have thought about the structure of a Mars colony. People can change negatively or grow together under such extreme conditions. Mars settlers would have to be put through training like astronauts. Does the psyche remain stable, and are people social and cooperative even under stress? Nobody knows yet how the spaceflight, radiation, and isolation from our home planet would affect the body. To create a stable social structure, a settlement should consist of 500 people. Researchers, doctors, gardeners, and maybe some adventurers and extreme sportsmen. The task of humans should consist of further exploration of the planet. What is there to eat on Mars? In order to survive, Mars settlers would have to be able to support themselves. The journey to Mars takes far too long and is too cumbersome to reliably supply people from Earth. Experiments with Mars greenhouses have been running since the early 2000s. Botanists are trying to make the Mars regolith rock fertile by adding terrestrial strains of bacteria. Does this look familiar? Then you have probably seen the movie The Martian with Matt Damon. He has to fend for himself on Mars and makes the Martian dust fertile with his own feces. Sounds disgusting at first, but that's exactly how the principle works. Biomass contains microorganisms that make growth and life possible. Currently, projects are underway with Mars Earth in the heights of the Andes. There, scientists are cooperating with indigenous people. For thousands of years, they have been able to grow potatoes in soil that is actually considered infertile. In the lower regions, they also use simulated Mars conditions for fermentation. Rye, radishes, garden cress, peas, tomatoes, and potatoes grow wonderfully. But peppers do not like the Martian soil at all. In Antarctica, German scientists do research in the Eden ISS. On 13 square meters, vegetables are grown there under extreme conditions. Instead of soil, they use nutrient solution that is sprayed directly onto the roots. These experiments are also proceeding promisingly. The supply of the Mars people would thus already be secured. The dwelling of the Mars inhabitants. To protect people from cosmic radiation, shielded dwellings are necessary. Mars air cannot be breathed by humans. Settlers would always have to travel outside with special suits and oxygen bottles. Inside the houses, ceiling, ventilation, Heating, water treatment, and safety must be perfectly coordinated. Living comfort must also not be neglected. To bring the best thinkers and creative minds in the world on board, NASA launched a competition in 2019. Designers and scientists worldwide were invited to submit plans for functional Mars houses. The proposals must be feasible using raw materials available on Mars and products from a 3D printer. Moving heavy components to Mars is not possible or would unnecessarily delay the start of a colonization. The ideas are truly stunning. About a dozen feasible concepts were received. After all, the best ideas can win prize money totaling 2 million US dollars. Plans envision houses in the form of pyramids, beehives, or root houses half buried in the ground. Greenhouses could be sunk safely into the ground before the storms. It is truly incredible what inventors, thinkers, and doers around the world have come up with to make Mars really cozy. The best project in the running at the moment is one that envisions houses in a honeycomb-like dome shape. In the center, there would be a large room, somewhat reminiscent of a soccer ball. Smaller domes could be reached via corridors. Smaller domes could be reached via corridors. In addition to private living spaces, there would be buildings for plant cultivation, research, and leisure facilities. The energy supply of the Martians. It's clearly solar. You probably thought the same way. After all, even the latest space probes from NASA fly with environmentally friendly solar energy. 
But the extreme weather on Mars could put a damper on the idea. What if solar panels were torn away or damaged by the storms? Without electricity, the settlers would be lost in no time. According to NASA, the solution would be mini nuclear reactors. But here, many critics are already crying out. Not yet arrived on Mars, we already have ideas to contaminate it with one of our biggest waste problems transport and external missions. Future Mars settlers are to explore the planet. As a result, people should be able to move around on the surface of Mars. One solution would be Mars rovers powered by atomic batteries. Musk says nonsense. This wastes far too much energy. Lighter vehicles are needed, and of course, he is already working on them in his SpaceX workshops. The nitrogen hydrogen compound hydrazine could be suitable as a fuel. It could be produced on Mars. Musk goes even further. According to his ideas, several settlements could be connected by an underground railroad or magnetic levitation trains. Is terraforming the solution? That all sounds very adventurous so far, and it certainly is. However, there are other interesting plans that put the colonization of Mars in a new light. Terraforming on Mars involves the creation of an atmosphere. Theoretically, Mars could be transformed into an Earth like ecosystem through climate change. Numerous space missions have found traces on Mars that allow conclusions to be drawn about its past as a warm and humid water planet. Could Mars be artificially restored to this state? The plans envision a deliberately induced greenhouse effect. However, we humans do not yet know what chain reaction we could trigger. When will it start? To fly to Mars, a complex maneuver is necessary. Orbits and influences of other celestial bodies have to be considered. A launch straight away from Earth and straight onto Mars is simply not possible. To save time, certain constellations have to be awaited. The best time for a first manned flight would be 2024. The pioneer of the new Mars research, Elon Musk, would like to send material in spaceships to Mars as early as 2022. These are to be loaded in the preferred settlement area of the Arcadia Planitia plane. What do you think? Will Elon Musk manage that? Would you even apply to become a Mars pioneer yourself? Share your opinion with us in the comments.